Coming back to Mr. Leong and Leong Manwai and the Committee of Inquiry, he comes back, I think uh, if he will recall the earlier exchange. He has agreed that there was no issue he could identify and there was no need for a Committee of Inquiry or a Commission for Inquiry. But now he has reversed himself and uh, says, I suppose the, oh. an hour or so in between has helped him to recall why he wanted it in the first place. Um, Mr. Leong, let me put it this way. You are quite wrong in saying this is an internal review by agencies. Let me explain. First, it's gone through a very public process with detailed cross-examination and examination and a minute forensic examination of all the issues. Every possible issue relating to police and AGC and the evidence has been dealt with in great detail in public, in cross-examination and in submissions. So what is it that you want from a review that hasn't been publicly set out? Then you have a high court judge who sets out his judgment and has set out what he said were the issues. So you've got a judgment from a high court setting out, this is where I felt that police uh, were lacking and this is where I think the AGC was lacking, right? So we have that process, which is, I think you would accept an independent process. Next, as regards AGC, that's going to go for another disciplinary tribunal. And the officers will give account of what they did. It will be dealt with by the disciplinary tribunal and if the DT feels that there is a case to answer and it needs to be referred, it goes up to the court of three judges. Or the DT dismisses, whatever it is, that's another independent inquiry. So that deals with the AGC part of your requirement for a committee of inquiry. Then there are the police. Three specific issues were identified. Translation, two other issues. I've dealt with them, the three issues. So I think, you see, the duties of members of parliament is not to come and repeat whatever is outside, but to apply our mind, take whatever feedback there is, crystallize it, apply it to the facts, listen to the arguments on the other side, and then say, yes, I see all this. Now I will tell you what it is. Because if you ask for a commission of inquiry, it's because you're not happy with something. You feel that there is a reasonable basis for having a, an inquiry into something. So you need to tell us which part of this requires further inquiry. I will answer your other points, but perhaps I can invite you to answer that. Uh, thank you, Minister, for uh, giving me the chance to learn further. Um, okay, when we look at this case, basically it is a case where there are a number of uh, uh, possible systemic faults, right, across the, uh, uh, the, 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 this case, okay? For example, uh, from the police to the AGC case, you know, you, you admitted to the lapses, and then the AGC, uh, there's a case that's still in court now. Okay, and then now you also uh, have uh, disclosed uh, or have uh, uh, said that, you know, the behavior of some of the uh, plaintiffs is uh, not credible. So there are all these uh, things that if there are so many of these problems and if every stage of the process, uh, there's supposed to be a check on the problem, you know. You, the way we, I, I listen to what you say, now it seems that the problem is like being drilled down to a poor guy in the police force. Okay, that cannot be the case. If, if one person makes a mistake, the next stage of the process is supposed to, to, to check on that and then stop the mistake from carrying on. So that 
to a layman like me, I, I, as I say, I'm not a legal expert, okay? Uh, to a layman like, like me and probably the, uh, the average Singaporeans in society, we will think that, hey, the whole process, uh, why nothing stops uh, 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 this uh, process from carrying on, making the poor Miss Liani suffer for four years, and... Uh, if I could ask you, Mr. Yes. Leong, I've yes. heard about the four years, yeah. I'll come back to the four years. Okay. Can you just help me? Because I have said we are happy to have, not happy, but we are prepared to have a commission of inquiry. I did say the officers involved will face police disciplinary inquiry. Of course, the supervisor will face a disciplinary inquiry too, because of the five weeks. So we have settled the five weeks. So what is it that requires a commission of inquiry. What is troubling you now? Don't give generalities. What specifically is the issue? Okay, we think that the systemic failures uh, that I have. What is the systemic failure? The systemic failure is like what I've explained just now. Why in the process, there was no stopper, you know? It just go on and on, right? So if the poor guy, this poor policeman Sorry. make the wrong what investigation. What went on and on? Uh, Basically, from the police, it went on to the AGC. No, AGC no, no, wait, stop, please. Okay. The five weeks is a police issue. It didn't go on to any, anyone else. AGC issue in, that happened at trial will be dealt with by the disciplinary tribunal. Hmm. So what is it about the police beyond the five weeks? Okay, you actually mentioned that there were some uh, lapses in the treatment of the evidence, right? So the five weeks, right? So yes. when these five weeks things happened, why uh, the superior officer in the police force, for example, didn't identify the problem? And then when this moved to AGC to make the prosecution... Uh, so wait, let's deal with the five weeks. Okay, okay. I have told you the IO and the su supervisor will, were wrong and will be dealt with by way of a disciplinary tribunal. What is it that you propose to... What is your allegation? Are you suggesting that they didn't do it because of uh, improper influence? If so, say it, and we will have a commission of inquiry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not saying that that okay, is definitely the case. Then tell me why we need a commission of inquiry. Like what I say, Minister, if a junior officer had done something, why he was not checked by a senior officer? And then the, when senior the senior officer is now going to face a disciplinary inquiry too. Okay, then this senior officer uh, make a mistake. This whole thing goes to AGC. So let's leave the police alone. That is what the police did. Yes. There was a lapse. Unless we are suggesting or we have reason to believe. Let's, let me tell you this. Okay. In any system, and you have been in organizations, there will be lapses. Yes. Lapses don't equate to commissions of inquiry. Lapses equate to disciplinary proceedings. Commissions of inquiry is if there is something larger. Yes. You are not suggesting it's good that you have disavowed any suggestion of improper influence. I'm happy that you have said that. So once we accept that, then the question is on these facts, and I told you 10% of the cases go succeed on appeal. I've told you there is another case where there was a break in chain of custody. We cannot be having commissions of inquiry each time the High Court says that the police made a mistake. So the reason why I was prepared to recommend a commission of inquiry was because I felt your suggestion was Mr. Liu had improper influence. But now that you have disavowed that, we are not saying that yet. Yes, mm. thank you. Mm. And therefore, in terms of how the police handled it, the two officers, maybe more than two, because there were other IOs who dealt with it at different times, that's a matter for police. Internal matter. And you would have heard me saying, I welcomed Ms. Lim's point. We don't want to make a scapegoat of this young officer. Uh, but, you know, the rules are rules he will be dealt with. So leave aside the police. There is no basis for a commission of inquiry against the police. AGC, there is no basis for doing a commission of inquiry because if you accept, 
that the agency officer's conduct will be dealt with by the disciplinary tribunal. They will go into it, why they did it, why, what they did. You've got your independent inquiry. So we don't need a commission of inquiry. Okay, like you say just now, Minister, in the organization, when we do a cross-department investigation, sometimes in the organization when things, uh, like for example, the operation department make a mistake and the finance department. This inquiry internally was done by the CID, which is external to the IOs, and the next level of the disciplinary proceedings will also be done properly. And I did say to Mr. Pratam Singh, if he was interested, I will let him know what the results are, but I need to go and check the law as to whether I'm entitled to tell him. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I think you will be good enough to agree that if those are the concerns, there is no basis for a commission of inquiry. Thank okay. you. Okay, Minister, the, uh, we thought that the systemic faults alone is enough to be a basis for the inquiry, but after your explanation, okay, we are, pre we are prepared to accept that you have done a thorough investigation of the situation already, then we will withdraw our uh, uh, proposal for the inquiry. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. Leong. Thank you. Okay.